Innovation is what's going on in the 21st century. The mission of our AMAN Inc. is to utilize science, technology, engineering, and math, which is STEM education, so that we can promote our youngsters' educational achievement and also increase the number of minority students that are underrepresented in the fields of STEM. STEM is really at the foundation of all of it. And by using STEM, it really gets them motivated and wanting to know more. And it helps the critical thinking skills and the analytical thinking skills. And that's so very, very important in this age of innovation. It's a pleasure to be able to spend my Saturday driving up from San Diego to be here in Inglewood at the African American Male Achievers Network and it's a huge pleasure for the National Society of Black Engineers to be partnering with it because this is directly in line with our mission in developing future engineers and future people who will lead our country and make sure that we are present and successful and integrated into the world that we live in. And the more diversity we can have, the more creative products we can have, the more efficient solutions we'll have. Anytime a team can come together and respectfully share different opinions, we get better solutions. Even if kids don't become engineers or scientists, this is something that can help them to learn. It can keep them focused in on their subject and see that you can fail at something and still be great at whatever you're gonna do. And I think that we need to build up from the foundation. It's always great to see youth doing what they're doing. It's even empowering to see adults who understand that their youth need to be doing these things and support them and take time out of their day. Um, we all have busy lives, but um, busy lives cannot be excused for doing what's right. AMAN works very hard with youngsters so that they can be leaders tomorrow. And this is what it's all about, making complete citizens of these kids so that they can go and be anything and the sky is absolutely the limit.